Yo, it's your boy Wubba. You to the YouTube gang. <laughs> Got another reaction for y'all today. Yo, it's week 10. My Cowboys facing the Atlanta Falcons this weekend. So, uh, we're going to see what this preview is about. Let's check it out. The rejuvenated Atlanta Falcons head to Dallas for week 10 to take on a Cowboys squad that's feeling as though they just got done watching that movie with Wooderson. Now watch him burst. Wow. Many uh. Dallas fans might point to the fact that Dak didn't look healthy, nor did his receivers. With that out of the way, though, Prescott finished last week with a rating under 75 yards per attempt under six. Prescott over the Ooh. middle, incomplete. So will Atlanta get more of that from the Cowboys passing attack or something more akin to what Prescott looked like when he put up a triple digit rating in five That's of his first six look like. games? That's what it's going to look like Saturday. And when he's playing on that level, then secondaries are tested because that crew of pass catchers is deep. Deep enough to put plenty of secondaries to sleep. Has a completion, it's Cooper. <laughs> into Denver territory. Firing over the middle, caught by Wilson. Gets it off Schultz. First down and more, breaks a tackle. Over the middle again, back to back for Lamb. Lamb is Dallas's leader in targets, receptions, and yards. So he will get to battle quite a bit with A.J. Terrell. He's been living up to his draft slot this year. Three passes to oh, defense really? this week, and he's put up great numbers when targeted in coverage this season. Excellent defensive play made by A.J. Terrell. Okay. The Falcons' defense as a whole has allowed a high passer rating and a high completion percentage. Jimmy and Edson, touchdown, Marquez Callaway. But they have held QBs to a respectable yards per attempt average. Haven't given up a ton of yards per game, haven't gotten hit for too many deep passes. That is real encouraging for Dean P's defensive coordinator to see. They, of course, will also be tested along the ground plenty. Zeke last week with another game showing he's back to his old Joey Chestnut ways. Elliot stutter step up the yes, middle. Sir. First down. Yes, Falcons sir. Falcons would seem to be ready to serve him up some more dogs, too. 4.4 allowed last week and for the year. He's going to shoot out through that hole, but he's so explosive. Dallas' defense Z won't eight. really face many runs, so let's jump to the passing game. We've said it many times over, Matt Ryan is still playing good football. Matt Ryan all smiles. He is loving it. On any given Sunday, Ryan can beat you with his arm. Ryan against a very tough Saints secondary. Over 340 yards, two TDs, no picks, rating over over 130 Ugh. yards per attempt over 10. These big okay. plays in a game this tight are daggers. No Calvin Ridley, you say? Fine, just throw more to the guy who might be one of the most underrated offensive weapons in the game right now. He underestimated Cordero Patterson. This guy is big and fast. I don't know Addison. how many times we have to say it. And that sets up Not another impressed. juicy one-on-one -on -one to follow. Patterson versus Trayvon Diggs, who may not have picked any passes off, but he's still knocking them away. You see that right arm come, talk, come down, punch. Diggs is also capable of getting beat too, though. Little contact there to kind of not allow Trayvon Diggs to go up and get the ball but ryan has plenty of confidence in some of his other pass catchers too when in doubt matt ryan is going to go to kyle pitts russell gage they want really? to get involved want to get him more active matty ice isn't dealing with the fiercest of pass rushes but they're solid four sacks against teddy b averaging two a game and they've hit the qb at a decent rate bridgewater in trouble Yes, sir. Sacking Bridgewater, though, didn't keep him from hanging close to 250 on them through the air on close to nine yards per attempt. And then the effort after the catch of Tim Patrick, we've talked about him all game. The Cowboys have allowed a lowish passer rating, but yards per attempt allowed, yards per catch allowed, completion percentage allowed, yards per game allowed, not in great territory. Just don't do a great job. The motion of Judy threw off their combination on the back end. Cowboys fans, just take it easy, okay, man? The plane is not crashed into the side of the mountain as they say everyone has hiccups every now and again uh. but atlanta is back to 500 too so they're hoping bunny stays in vegas another week so they can get out of jerry's world with a win let's see it. Nope. predictions into the comment section we'll put ours on the screen you want a toe i can get you a toe believe me there are ways dude you don't want to know about it believe me i can get you a toe by Already? this afternoon with nail polish what nail polish i don't know where that comes from anyway yo man uh we should blow out Atlanta Falcons. We're going to get back on track. Uh, like we should. We're going to look like the team we're supposed to look like a Super Bowl team. Uh, Cowboys is the best team in the NFL. And I think we're going to be something towards... Let's go with... 34-23. That's why I think we're going to be something more uh, lined up. 34-23. Yeah. 
because the Cowboys, we, we had our worst game of the season. Uh, my Cowboys got humble, but they're going to be ready this Sunday, dude. And we're going to blow out this Atlanta Falcons. That's what we're going to do. So, uh, let's go. Anyway, that's my reaction to Atlanta Falcons with my Dallas Cowboys. Already. And, uh, like, subscribe. But I'm out.